Robots are coming to our homes sooner than you think. Let's check it out. When you think about the future, what are some things that come to mind? I'm sure one of those things is robots. If you grew up in the 80s, telephones were connected to the wall. You rented movies at the video store and Mario could only move in two dimensions. In many ways, depending on how old you are, it feels like we are in the future. But in my opinion, we aren't fully there yet until we can have everyday people travel to space if they wanted to, and until we have robots in our homes helping with our everyday lives. I'm talking about Rosie from the Jetsons, without all the mishaps. So we aren't fully in the future while we're doing laundry and dishes. So when will we see robots? Home robots actually exist already in Japan. If you live in Japan, you can buy Pepper. Pepper is a humanoid robot with a tablet on his chest developed by the French company Aldebaran, which was bought by the Japanese telecom giant SoftBank. Pepper was built in 2014 and was designed to be a day-to-day -day companion. Pepper's number one quality is his ability to perceive emotions, similar to Nadia, a virtual assistant developed by the company Soul Machines. I made a video about Nadia. The link is in the description if you want to check that out. Back to Pepper. Pepper uses AI technology from IBM and is an emotionally intelligent robot that recognizes four principal emotions, joy, sadness, anger, and surprise. Pepper can also interpret your smile, frown, and tone of voice. Hey there, what's your name? You can call me Pepper. SoftBank describes Pepper as having an emotional engine, which will continually interpret your attitudes and expressions and will adapt his attitude to suit yours. Pepper will develop a unique personality over time. He has one 3D and two HD cameras built inside his head, along with four directional microphones, so he can detect what direction you're talking from. Pepper is connected to the internet and is part of the Internet of Things. He can tell you the latest news, weather forecasts, you can talk to him about anything. So far, over 10,000 Pepper robots has been sold to various companies and Japanese residents who purchased Pepper for domestic use. SoftBank plans on selling Pepper outside Japan for home use in the near future. So how practical is Pepper? To me, Pepper is more of a novelty, and SoftBank is trying to figure out a solid purpose for them. They hope that by opening up the tablet to Android for developers, there will be creative ways to use Pepper. Pepper robots sold for home use in Japan has an initial cost of $1,600, along with monthly payments of $360 for 36 months, bringing Pepper's total cost to $14,000. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't pay $14,000 for a day-to-day -day companion. There has also been reports of Pepper not performing too well and that his AI needs to improve on English. Pepper works really well in Japanese. Hello, I'm Robert, what's your name? How are you? I'm just here to say hello to you. Pardon? What's your name? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. It's very nice to meet you. Will you shake my hand? Handshake? Hello. Great to meet you. And you too. Where do you come from? I was created at Aldebrons in Paris. Right. How old are you? But I think Pepper will improve English over time. So at this point, Pepper has the functionality of an Amazon Echo and a computer tablet on rollerblades, and he costs as much as a decent car. But I think over time, he will become more and more useful. So I'm looking forward to see how SoftBank progresses Pepper, and I would definitely like to see that price uh, go in the downward direction. But it's a start. All good things have to start somewhere. 
The first personal computer ever was the Kenback One, designed by John Blankenbaker. The Kenback One was first sold in 1971 for a price of $750, which is equal to around $4,600 today. The Kenback One didn't have a microprocessor, a mouse, keyboard, or even a monitor. It had switches to input data and a few lights for the output. It was useless out of the box because you had to write your own programs. Imagine buying a computer and there's no programs. You have to write the programs. There are three known programs that I found that ran on the Kenback and the most interesting one was Tic-Tac-Toe. Imagine paying over $4,000 to play Tic-Tac-Toe. Now we can't live without personal computers. We use them for everything. And chances are you are holding one in the palm of your hand watching this video. Like computers, home robots will make incremental leaps slowly and at some point we won't be able to live without them. I want to know what you think. Do you think home robots will be common in our homes soon? And if so, how long do you think it'll take for them to be actually worth the price and be useful in our homes? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps our channel grow. And if you're interested in learning about what life will be like in the future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am the Oracle, and this is the end of our journey.